All right, so here we go. My name's Aaron Goodes. I am a freelance adventure, fly fishing, and landscape photographer based here in Vancouver, British Columbia. And I thought I would look into my camera bag and show you what's inside. Okay, so the camera bag itself is uh, the F-Stop Tilopa uh, 50 liter. It's a pretty big bag, and this pretty much has everything I use on big shoots. Um, so I don't always pack all this gear at one time, but in this case, uh, I just wanted to show you everything that I would take on a pretty big adventure shoot, whether it be fly fishing, landscapes, um, or just any sort of hiking adventure when I need all of my gear. Um, so yeah, so this is a big, big 50 liter backpack. Um, so first I have uh, water, always have a little thermos of water or tea, something like that. I also will always have a tripod, almost always, uh, some sort of tripod. This one is my super lightweight Gitzo uh, Traveler Series 1. Um, it ex extends quite high and uh, just gives me all the reach I need when I need super stable shots like shooting stars or um, long exposures. Um, if I don't bring this tripod, I usually have some sort of tripod, whether it's a bigger one or a smaller one, but I always have this one typically. Um, okay, so that's the tripod. Now looking into the camera backpack, the opening is the back of the pack, uh, which then allows me to put this on the ground and not have the stuff or the back of it always uh, dirty, um, which is really nice. Um, on this side, I have bear spray. I always have bear spray with me. Pretty much anything I do in BC, I have bear spray with me. So that stays outside and it's really important to have bear spray where you can get at it. Um, if, it's, if you can't get at it, there's no point in having it. Um, okay, so now I open this really big back panel like this, and this is the camera bag. Okay, so in this back panel, I have an ICU. So F-Stop uses these internal camera units, um, which allow me to change the actual camera compartment um, based on the stuff that I actually need to bring. So in some cases, I have a smaller one of these and I have more room in the top for uh, more clothing or food um, or even a sleeping bag. Um, in this case, I have the Large Pro. Uh, so the Large Pro gives me enough room for pretty much all of my camera gear if I was doing a big shoot. If I brought the medium slope or the small pro, I would have about half the size of the camera unit um, for like maybe one lens uh, and one camera body. But in this case, I have everything in here. So I'll just start to kind of pull things out and I'll show you what they are. Um, so firstly, I have the camera body and the lens attached. And so I know we're in 2024 um, and I'm still using uh, very old cameras. Um, I'm still in the DSLR phase. I haven't actually switched over to mirrorless yet. Um, and I'm using a Nikon camera. It's the D750. It's a full frame 24 megapixel camera with a great high ISO. And uh, yeah, it just, it's awesome. It's pretty heavy, um, but it's not super heavy, uh, but it definitely has great image quality and I love this camera. So that's always the go-to in the camera bag at this point. And I have a three-legged thing L bracket on here. Um, the L bracket that I have on here allows me to uh, turn the camera on its side in the tripod or when I'm putting it on the tripod and also use a camera, cri uh, camera clip um, if I wanna attach this to the outside of my bag. So it's a really nice um, L bracket on here. Of course, I have a battery and I have a uh, card in here. And this camera takes two SD cards, which is really nice. It's a backup. So I always have a backup when I'm shooting stuff that's really important in case one of the 
camera cards uh, fails. I've never had that happen, luckily, knock on wood. Um, so yeah, that's it. And the, the lens that's attached to this camera is the Nikon 24-120, so 24 millimeters at the wide end, 120 or 120 millimeters at the long end, and it's an F4. Um, it's a really good little lens. Uh, it's a little, little bit heavy, but it's got a huge range and it's got a VR system, so it's got some stable stabilization. It's a really nice, nice lens. And I usually always have a polarizing, circular polarizing filter mounted to the front of it, unless I have another set of filters that I'm using. So that's the camera body and the lens that's attached. Okay, so put that back in. Um, next one I'll use a lot of times, I always have it, is my wide angle. Uh, so this is the, again, it's the Nikon 16 to 35 millimeter f4 so super wide at 16 a little bit punched in at 35 and it's an f4 really good landscape lens um, i've used this for many many years and uh, as a wide angle lens on a full frame camera body this one is the ticket it's super nice uh, really sharp so I always have that put this back in here um, the other one i have pretty standard with me and that's a really heavy one uh, but it is the Nikon 70 to 200 2.8 f 2.8 um, so this is just a pro beast of a lens it's got some weight to it um, it's got an internal zoom ring so you can zoom into 200 and not actually extend the lens out which is really nice um, but it's just super sharp uh, at f2.8, it just gives you some really, really beautiful depth of field. Um, bokeh in the background, uh, it's just a really gorgeous lens and I've uh, used this lens a lot. Um, and I'll have a little little uh, tripod plate mounted, mounted to, the, to the foot of this lens so I can put it on the tripod easily. But this is the Nikon 70-200 f2.8. Beautiful, beautiful lens. Um, just an awesome zoom lens. And I sometimes carry a 1.4 teleconverter, which then makes that lens um, a little bit longer, but I usually don't have it, so I'm not even gonna talk about it at the moment. Um, and lastly, in this, this little corner of the bag, I have a Nikon 20 mil f1.8. Um, super, super nice for stars or just really shallow depth of field, wide angle shots. It's super light, um, doesn't take up much room. Um, it really allows me to not use such a high ISO when I'm shooting um, really low light scenarios, especially handheld, or when I'm shooting stars. Um, I just uh, love this lens. I can't really get the shots that I typically get with this lens without it. Um, even at an f2.8, a lot of times that just isn't fast enough. So having the 20 mil 1.8 um, is just always with me in the bag uh, for those night shoots or star shoots or any low light situations. Um, just an awesome, awesome lens. Um, so that's, that's, the, that's all the lenses and the camera body. So it's a pretty fast little video, but that's basically the kit that I always have uh, with me in this bag um, when I'm doing like a full on shoot and I have, I need everything. Um, so that gives me a range from 16 right up to 200 um, at pretty fast lenses, um, especially that uh, 70 to 200, 2.8 and the 20 mil 1.8. Those are my super fast ones. Um, the 16 to 35 and the 24 to 120 are a little slower at f4, but they're great for landscapes or just, you know, brighter days or with a tripod. Um, so that's pretty much everything that I have lens and camera wise in the bag. Um, what I also have in here is I have a little f-stop, little pouch here. And essentially I have all my batteries. Um, so I have batteries for uh, the Nikon D750 and then I'll usually have batteries for a GoPro and potentially batteries for my 
video camera with his, which is the Sony A6400. Uh, so just a little little camera, but that one's the one that's filming right now and a GoPro right over here. Um, so I'll have GoPro batteries, Sony batteries and Nikon batteries all in here. So I have all the batteries all charged up. Um, and this other one, I have another one of these little f-stop case, a small case. And I'll have, again, I'll have a headlamp. Um, always need a headlamp. I have an extra battery for the Nikon D750. I have batteries for the headlamp in case, you know, I'm gonna be at night and batteries run out. I also have in this little com compartment, I have a little Nikon remote release for the camera. So when I'm doing long exposures or star shots, I need to have a low, uh, remote release. And I have extra batteries for that because uh, they run out quite often. And also I have this little case here, which is cool. It's a little waterproof case. And so this one actually has all my memory cards. Um, so these ones go for the video camera, the Sony cameras and the Nikon uh, D750. So that's all my cards, extra cards, but I usually don't uh, run through too many cards, but those are extras just in case. Um, so I have that. So that's kind of like always in here as well this out here and that's pretty much so there's a few other things here I have gloves little set of gloves and I have a peak design little camera strap little thing one a uh, thin one um, this is just really cool if I want to have a camera just hanging over my like around my neck um, it's always nice to have a camera strap and they all clip together with all these little peak design little clips so it's really cool um, so that's all set up and that's pretty much everything outside of lens cloths. Um, what's, this is pretty much everything that's inside the main compartment and I have some lens cloths up here. So always got to have stuff to wipe down your lens. And that's pretty much everything that's in this main back panel compartment or the ICU and again it's the f-stop large pro ICU in this Talopa 50 liter bag. Um, so I'm going to turn, I'm going to close this up and turn the pack around. It's a huge backpack and for someone like me it definitely is, I'm not a big guy so it's pretty crazy but um, when I need everything it's all here. Um, so in this top compartment, <clears throat> I have a couple of things too. Um, so for instance, I have a little Patagonia rain shell. I have polarized sunglasses. I have this one I won't throw down. <laughs> so this is the f-stop filter case. And in this, this case for all my landscape work, um, this is another video altogether, but essentially this all has, uh, you can't really see too well, but this is uh, all of my filters, like graduated neutral density filters that cut the, the uh, brightness out of the, the sky. And if you're doing landscapes and you don't want to merge photos, um, it also has a Lee polarizing kit here. Um, and it's all Lee filters and I have an ND 10 stop. So really, really dark one and an ND six stop. It's all Lee and it basically fits in this little case. And for doing all my long exposure landscapes, um, that is the, the case that I bring. And otherwise I don't really bring it, but, um, that's a really nice, uh, little F stop case to carry it all in. Um, I also have this little, I've had this for a long, long time, but this is just a low pro little camera or filter case. And so I was gonna mention that all the lenses that I have in this bag are 77 millimeter threads. So all of my filters are 77 millimeter threads. Um, and what I have in here are UV filters, polarizing filters and ND filters of various kinds. And again, like one of these days, I'll go through another video where you can go through and see all the different filters. 
Um, I also always have TP in case and first aid kit. And I think that's it in the top compartment. This little zippered compartment, I have another lens cloth, little Leatherman tool, just in case. Leave that in here. And on the top compartment, I don't have anything in there at the moment. Or do I? No, I don't, not really. Um, so this is usually where I put like my wallet, keys, anything like that, um, that I have to have a huge, uh, really quick access to. And then in the front compartment, another zippered compartment, I have uh, stuff for rain. So rain covers for both my camera, rain cover for the backpack. It's good to have a nice bright one like this one in case you're in a situation where you need to have something bright so people can locate you. Uh, the really bright rain cover is really handy. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I have a couple other side pockets, not really in use at the moment, but that is basically it. So that's what's in the F-Stop Talopa 50 liter camera bag. It's my not everyday carry, it's the everything carry. <laughs> but that is when I have a huge shoot and I have to bring everything. Um, that's what it looks like. Uh, it's quite heavy, uh, but yeah, I manage it. And uh, there you go. So I hope you got a little bit out of this video. Of course, like I always uh, appreciate the likes and subscriptions or subscribe to the channel if you can, if you feel like it. I'm trying to do more of these uh, as I go through the process of creating this YouTube channel. Um, and uh, there you go. I hope I see you in the next video and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.